as far as I was concerned, we were in a healthy relationship. We came back, opened a bottle of champagne, talked, and although I was still cross with him um, about various things that had happened, you know, I still wanted the relationship to work. Next thing I know is I was being attacked in my bed. Um, there were thuds to my head, I had 15 separate injuries, bleed on the brain, um, he'd used knives, meat cleaver. It, it was a horrific scene, it was like a horror scene. When I came um, around, because um, I was in and out of consciousness, and he had a meat cleaver and was chopping at his wrists, and he said, we're going together, we're going together. And immediately I must have had an adrenaline rush because I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I've got two children. And I knew I had to get away. I knew I had to get away. You know, he was going to kill me. Two pints of blood I lost. I had broken arm, um, stab wound to my neck, uh, lacerations to my shoulder, my nose, my chin. I was on the floor. I mean, immediately after the attack, it was horrific. I've never felt, I felt so disassociated with real life. It was as if the world was still turning and mine wasn't. I was just stuck static. Um, there was no future. Not There was no future for me. I need to carry on with my life. I need to carry on with my life. I've got to do this for my children. Um, so I proactively looked for help in terms of um, solution-based therapy. There would be a result at the end and that's how I got in touch with um, David Kilmurray. So I set up a social media page and it was really to start posting things about um, what I'd been through around the law around what I'd been through and statistics around what I'd been through and I realised that statistically domestic violence is huge um, and following on from that women were contacting me constantly saying they've been through this and that helped as part of my process of therapy is knowing that other people have gone through the same process um, they're dealing with the same issues that I've dealt with and it gave me a passion in order to move forward and come out the other side so I set up my own charity which is now helping hundreds of women um, and that is what gives me strength is the, the passion behind and the reason behind the movement in order to change processes as they are. As we speak the processes don't work, our procedures in this country around domestic violence they don't work. I actually nearly died that day, but I was actually reborn um, and I've got a new life.